guest this morning, um, and this is Delaware Daily. We conducted a focus group with eight people, four females and four males, all ranging in the ages of 19 to 22. Basically, the female students all agreed that that they like the candy pizza, it's customizable, they can decide what they want in it. Um, the males of the group basically um, like provocative advertising, so as far as advertising, they think provocative advertising would be um, better suited for them. Um, the group also suggested that to advertise candy pizza, it would be great to start off at colleges and universities as part of their care package program. So that would see if that generates a buzz between students. And a lot of people, especially the females, agree that it's a better alternative to edible arrangements because it's non-perishable, it lasts longer, and it's cheaper and customizable. The male group um, <coughs> thinks that candy pizza would be better launched in a viral video to um, spread customer and product awareness. And here's some quotes. Um, some key quotes that people thought, um, mainly the females, they thought that they wouldn't spend no more than $25 for the product, but the males, on the other hand, they felt anywhere from five to 15. Um, I, I think the females are more savvy when it comes to buying things, uh, things like that. And um, it's definitely not what they heard, like everybody in, uh, everybody in here thought, but they definitely felt after I, they was explained and told on um, what it was, it's a place for the market and they would definitely buy it for themselves or for a loved one. Um, the person that I interviewed would said she's willing to spend up to $35 on a pizza. She likes that it's specific, not just regular care packages that are just a bunch of miscellaneous things um, put together. And she doesn't often receive care packages, but would like to. Um, this female says that she's only willing to spend about $20. She receives care packages mostly during midterms and finals and likes that there's a variety of candy that she can choose from. This female only receives pa packages once in a while, but loves packages, loves surprises. Um, she finds candy pizza appealing simply just because it's candy and um, is willing to spend about $25 on it. Um, this male, he receives care packages, but he normally gets some um, <coughs> big goods or apparel, and he feels that this style candy is, is the best fit for anything that whenever he gets any type of candy that we um, get in the type of advertisement again would be sexual, provocative, mainly provocative because we are dealing with candy and all the type of demographics we're dealing with. Um, this, this male receives care, care packages as well, like the type of in the parallel land. He feels that the more chocolate that you would have on the product would be better, but I, I'm pretty sure a different um, product than as, um, with him, uh, free samples would definitely get him to try it and then buy it. And um, this male, he doesn't receive care packages, but he has a lot of um, um, loved ones. He says that he would definitely buy for his loved ones, mainly his like little siblings, and um, but he wouldn't buy for himself. And that ho holiday events, such as Halloween, birthdays, and um, and even for Christmas, even like maybe a Christmas specialty um, candy pizza, he would definitely buy it. Hi, I'm Erica. I'm Naima. Um, our focus group was uh, all females. Um, they were all they are all 21 years old, and uh, two out of five of the participants of the focus group received care packages from home. And the contents that they mostly enjoyed were candy, food, money supplies, toiletries, and like a nice love note. So that would be good to put with the candy pizza, like a note you could send. Um, thought it was a good concept because creative, it's decorative, it's something that like you would put thought into because um, you would think if you're getting it for someone, you can figure out what their favorite candy is and send it as a nice gesture. Um, a mixture of candy is definitely preferred over just one song of candy. Um, they would give it to younger siblings or cousins. They wouldn't really see themselves giving a candy pizza to someone our age or a little bit older. Um, Valentine's Day, birthday, they were even saying a sweet 16 would be nice um, for a candy pizza to be there. Um, they would buy candy pizza if they saw samples in stores or displays. 
um, and depending on the price, and all of them agreed that between 20 and $25 dollars would be their spending limit. Oh. Um, these were just some quotes. Uh, candy Peach is a good idea to bring to 316. Um, some of them in the group did think that Candy Pizza is a bit juvenile, and depending on the price, they thought maybe it would just be better to go to the store and buy the candy. Mm -hmm. But because it is a specialty item, they would be willing to spend money on it if they saw, you know, samples, receiving coupons, things like Groupon and stuff to um, see what's in what's in the area locally, um, bringing samples to local college and universities, like we had said before. Um, and they also said this would be something more appealing to parents just because, you know, when you think of care packages and stuff, you really think of giving it to a child. Um, one of my interviews, she said that Candy Pizza made her think of the movie Mr. Deeds with peanut butter um, and gumball pizza. Um, <laughs> she said it's definitely something she would try, though. And she likes variety. Um, she said she would give it to her boyfriend or her parents, but not her friends. Uh, Valentine's Day, Easter, birthdays, even just because would be um, nice to send. And she said she was willing to spend ten dollars on it. Um, I interviewed a parent. Um, oh, she's a single parent, and um, more. She's more of a personal person, so sending a candy pizza wouldn't be something she would do, but she said she would definitely buy it for herself because she loves candy. Um, it's a nice concept for a Valentine's Day gift. Um, would be better than edible arrangements, and she would buy that quicker because of the fact that she likes candy. Um, and coupons and different designs, like she was saying, like, you know, thinking sports was like a football design for certain events, or maybe like a cake type of design, like different things aside from pizza. Mm -hmm. And the last person I interviewed um, doesn't like candy at all, so candy and pizza wouldn't be something that she would buy, but she would definitely buy it for her younger siblings because they enjoy candy, and her younger brother is 15. Um, she, if she would buy candy pizza, she would prefer it to be chocolate, because that's the only thing she would really eat. And if she bought a candy pizza, it would be for birthdays or for Easter. Okay, so the first person I email, um, interviewed, she's a female, she's 21, I mean, she's 20, and she received a lot of care packages as a freshman and a sophomore, sophomore but not so much now that she's a junior. Um, in all of her care packages, she got a card, she got presents, food, but she didn't really get candy. She, occasionally, she'd get candy, mostly for Valentine's Day. When she thinks of um, small gifts, she usually thinks of maybe a gift card or money in a card. Um, and then when she thinks of candy pizza, it's usually kids that come to mind, so she would definitely give it to her younger siblings and her younger cousin. She, a quote is, um, I feel as though candy pizza is focused more towards kids, so when she first thought of candy pizza, she thought of like kids and birthday parties and different things like that. Not so much for people our age. The second female, she's 21, um, she never received care packages. Um, she would definitely give it to her nephew as a birthday gift or for any of his parties. When she hears about candy pizza, um, she thought it was only for his children, but she doesn't really see it as being a gift as well. Um, and she doesn't really, she doesn't believe that, she does believe that um, young adults our age would buy it for their companions, but it's just not for her. Another female, she never also receives care packages. She finds most billboards, most of our presents on billboards and the others founded on TV. Um, she never thinks candy for pizzas for anyone our age, and she thinks it's like edible arrangements where it's um, a lot of money but not enough product. But she said she'd be more willing to spend it on candy pizza because it's a little cheaper than edible arrangements and it's not fair. Um. <coughs> Suggestions to advertise candy pizza, like I said before, would be to go to local colleges to advertise candy pizza, putting ads in local um, newspapers and college newspapers, um, displays and samples in local supermarkets. A great website, obviously, would be a main attraction because that's how you would um, order to get it delivered. The Facebook page, of course, because this generation is obsessed with Facebook. Um, Groupon.com was one of the suggestions. And um, special deals during special <coughs> occasions like Valentine's Day, birthdays. My name is Stephanie, and for my focus group, I did college students, but actually um, commuter students who go to different schools. Um, so it was compiled of a, of a group of five people, um, three females and two males, Age, ranging from the ages from 19 to 25. So basically, all of them, when we asked them what they thought of candy pizza, they had the same reaction that we all did. They thought it was 
out of like those sweets that are like extra, that's like, disgusting. But after explaining it to them, um, they did like the product, but they said that they probably wouldn't buy it for themselves, but they would give it as a birthday gift or even bring it to a party if they were attending a party as like a hostess gift. Um, they also said that it was uh, quite pricey, so they said that they would not pay more than $30 for it. Um, here are some quotes, um, mainly, um, again, with the price, but I think that training teachers should be less than $30. You did, I did explain to them that there are different sizes, but they said that they wouldn't pay more than that. For my interviews, I actually interviewed young parents with younger children. So this mom had, um, she had four kids, one 12-year-old and three children under the age of six. And she wasn't too hot about the idea because having younger children, she said that it was too much sugar and too much sweet. Um, and then the next mother, um, she 